On today's episode, we venture out to the tiny but beautiful town of Honey Harbor, Ontario. This fishing town is situated in Muskoka on the shores of Georgian Bay. I decided that today is the day I stealth camp in Honey Harbor and eat at a few great restaurants like Finn City's Fish and Chips, the Honey Harbor General Store, and the Harbor House at Nautilus Marina. We will also definitely have time for a bike ride and a late afternoon swim. If this van life adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back and enjoy this video. Hey guys, we are on our way up to Honey Harbor. And before we go, I wanted to try something out today. We got the Jackery. We've got four cans of club soda. They're ice cold right now, but we're going to attempt to see how well this cooler works. So, and again, it's all about testing the Jackery today. I know I have an outlet here. Um, some people have said, don't you, have, don't you have an outlet in your car? And I said, yeah, I've got this one and I've got this one, but you can't really use these when you're stealth camping because it'll drain your car battery. So that's why this is gonna come in super handy. While I'm driving, I can plug this in to here and it will charge, but we're going to attempt to plug this in. There should only be one way to plug it in, I guess. And I press DC and you can hear it. It's revving up. Awesome. So it's drawing 54 watts. You guys can let me know if that's good or bad. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever used one of these things in a stealth van. We're at 100%. And uh, so we're going to leave that running. I know I could plug this into here while we're driving, but it's all about the test, right? So let's plug, open this up. Put in our cans of pop. There we go. Done. Okay, we can lock it. Make sure it's airtight. Don't let all that coldness out. So we'll see when we get there. It takes about an hour and a half to get up to Honey Harbor. But here's our Jackery test for our cooler. That fan, I did a little test on it, 24 hours on low and it's just dropped to 60%. Let's get going. I've been looking forward to doing this trip for a while. Today is the day to get to Honey Harbor. There's about three places I wanna eat at. And uh, I think the first thing I wanna get when I get there, I'm gonna do lunch and we're gonna do fish and chips. Uh, and then uh, I have no idea. What we'll just we'll kind of look around, see what we're gonna do for dinner, and then see which place would have a good breakfast. But first, let's get some gas. Unfortunately, it's $1.31.2 today. That sucks per liter. Yee. $57. Bucks. That's all I'm gonna put in right now. Almost fall. Of course, we've got to stop at Tim Hortons and grab a coffee. This is the En Route Berry Northbound. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, can I grab a large black coffee, please? Anything else, sir? That would be it, thank you. No problem, it's gonna be 2.30. Thank you. All right, super fast service here at the En Route Northbound. All right, let's continue our trek up to Honey Harbor. Safe travels, we'll see you when we get there. beautiful town of Honey Harbor on Georgian Bay. 
let's take a peek around. I've only been here once, never eaten here, but I'm hoping all the food is awesome. A lot of old boats here. Got a good sail. <laughs> Jeez, look at that old wooden one. Holy smokes, very cool. That's enough scouting around for a bit. I'm hungry, I wanna get that fish and chips that I saw on the internet. So uh, I will locate that restaurant store and uh, we'll get that food and we'll eat it with you. There's the Honey Harbor General Store and check that out. There's the pizza vending machine, they're everywhere. But uh, I think I'm going to be coming here for a breakfast. It does say breakfast. We'll come back and check. Uh, but I looked on the internet. There's a place called Finn City. Well, that was totally unexpected. It seems that this thing has a red and blue. And it's possible that you can actually use this as a heater. Because uh, it was hot in there. And look what happened. So these were cold from my fridge. And then look at this. I, and I did hear like a bang in the back. I, I just thought something in the back fell over, but it blew up my club soda. Look at that. Jeez, that's how hot it got in here. So once again, I had no idea that this could be a heater and a cooler at the same time. Well, not at the same time. You can switch it from one to the other. I just finally saw that there's an arrow here and it says right on it, uh, that, not that I could, I could barely read it, arrow to blue cool. So you put the blue to the arrow and now it should be on cold. So we're going to uh, plug it back in and see if it gets cold between now and by the time I get back. DC's on, again we have 86% and uh, hopefully that will cool them down for a nice beverage later on. I should experimented a little bit more uh, before I used it but uh, again it's the first time I've ever used it and I didn't know there was a hot and cold function on it but now I know let's go get some food found the restaurant right there and look at the view so it looks like all the cottagers on Georgian Bay if they're hungry for some fish and chips they just come park their boat walk up here grab some grub have a good time all right I see the sign says open nice one piece halibut oh pickerel haddock cod scallops and chips i think we'll need a drink because mine exploded hello how are you how are you all right good I heard you got good fish and chips. We do, we have great fish and chips. We're what? just placing an order? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do the uh, one piece uh, halibut fish and chips. Yep. Or should I eat two? Uh, it depends on how hungry you are. Right. It's a pretty good portion. Yeah, uh, it is? Yeah, it's a four ounce piece, it's about that size. So it just depends on really how hungry you are. Let's do two. Two, perfect. Anything else for you? Uh, what kind of canned pop do you guys have? Uh, so they're all just in the cooler right oh. there if you wanted to take a look. Oh, cool. Let's do this. Mango. Mango and fish and chips. Alright guys, got my order. I eat it on the patio until tomorrow. Uh, or as of 12 midnight tonight. It's Thursday. And uh, but our Ontario is opening up as of Friday or 12 o'clock midnight tonight. And uh, but tomorrow you could sit on that patio. But tomorrow, wherever we go, we might be able to sit on a patio somewhere. And I found this one spot. It's not roped off. All right, so I did the mango. All natural sugar, made from sugar cane. Soda with natural flavors. We've had this before on the show. And it just tastes so sweet and good. Got some tartar sauce, ketchup, probably coleslaw, malt vinegar. Let's open this up. Oh my gosh. She said two, but I guess it either broke and they gave me three. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close-up of this beautiful halibut fish and chips. 
we've got these golden crispy fillets of halibut we've got our lemon there we're going to squeeze all over and we got our french fries down there on the bottom let's open up this tartar sauce get that ready i'm not sure if we should eat this with our hands i think so why not let's do it cheers guys oh yeah oh love the, the taste of halibut it's such a lovely fish to eat and they've crisped it up nicely with that batter I'm not sure if it's a beer batter or not, but it is very, very savory. So I'm going to try it. Put the vinegar, the malt vinegar on my fish. See if that's any good. <laughs> either, either if I'm doing it wrong, people are going to be like, no. If I'm doing it right, people will be like, yeah, good job, Cam. So I think you do the malt vinegar probably and you dip it in that. Mmm. It's not bad when you, when you put them together like that. I have no idea that this place existed. I'm definitely coming back here in the future to grab some more fish and chips. I got some other cool things on the menu too. The vinegar is all right, but I think just putting it in here is the best. I'm gonna move this one piece of fish out of the way. Put that malt vinegar on my fries. Put some more salt on there, of course. They probably put salt on there already, but I want more. There we go. Yes, sir. Let's do some of these fries. Mmm. If I lived on this lake, I'd definitely visit here at least once a weekend. Come in for a beer, have a designated driver. And then boat home. Have some good food with some good people. Oh yeah. Just look how golden that is. We're gonna dip that into our tartar sauce. Let's go right here. Dip. I'm sure we could be cutting this up, but no. Oh yeah. Tartar sauce. Beautiful fish. And looking at that view. Back to the fish. <laughs> Let's take a bite. It is killer hot still, man. <laughs> nice slice of lemon. People here in Canada love lemon on their fish. Not necessarily on their fries. There we go. Now she's good to go. Yeah. Lots of lemon, tartar sauce, good times people, good times. Woo. All right guys, I'm gonna sit back and enjoy this view in Honey Harbor. This is a great lunch. I'm glad I stopped here first at Finn City Fish and Chips. Uh, I'm just gonna, like I said, just sit back and this is an amazing view. We'll see you in a bit. Well guys, I'm all done. Definitely get the one piece of fish. It's a lot of food. I, could, I couldn't I could finish the fries. I'm gonna be honest. I ate about half of the fries, but I ate all the fish because I ordered the fish and I love halibut. It's good fish, it's, it's expensive. Worth eating every single bite. Uh, they did a great job. Uh, a family just passed me and all the kids had ice cream. Chocolate, I'm gonna have to do chocolate chip cookie dough. That is my go-to. Yeah, Triple chocolate brownie, jeez. Cotton candy, like you said, Kit Kat, Havenly Hash, maple walnut. Yeah, this this is my go-to right there. Oh my God, that's two scoops. Oh. <laughs> so if you're really hungry, guys, do a two scooper. If you're trying to save some calories don't get the two scoop i'm gonna enjoy that check that out guys that is so much food i'm definitely going to enjoy this ice cream on this super hot day but we're definitely gonna to have to go for a big bike ride soon and uh just ride around town see what it's all about anyway let's enjoy this ice cream 
All right, guys, doing all the social media, taking pictures and everything. My ice cream is melting fast. Mm. I took a couple of licks of it before I set this camera up, just to stop the dripping down the sides. Gotta love chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. The chocolate chips are big. This, they haven't uh, programmed this into the computer yet, so he just said he'd charge me for like a, a medium fries, which is four bucks. It's a lot of ice cream. I wish I'd known it was that big. I definitely would have only ordered one. And they're still trying to get things together when they open up tomorrow at 11. And they, and they still haven't found the ice cream scoop. And it's like buried. Uh, again, a lot of these places haven't been open for a while. So scrambling to get everything done in time for the public to start enjoying eating at restaurants again. Look at this view. Muskoka. Georgian Bay, beautiful. Just in case you're wondering what the uh, police look like here in uh, Georgian Bay, there's a police boat. Well, that was an amazing lunch and dessert. If you're looking for Fin City, look for the Delawana Inn. If you're like me and you can't get in for some reason, the, the gate's down. And uh, yeah, I don't have any idea. It looks like they have parking but I couldn't figure out how to get in here. Back at Rusty, the stealth camper, and I've decided to shut this off, uh, maybe ask my father-in-law if there's any other things I need to have settings on it because it's not getting cold. It's definitely not hot anymore, but it's not getting uh, cold. So I don't, I don't want to waste my jackery power. I'd rather, it's at 74%. I'd rather use this for uh, my computer and charging my phone and stuff. And I just need to charge another GoPro battery and I should be good to go for the rest of today and tomorrow with the, once this is fully charged. I think I'm gonna go back to the general store and park it there for a bit, get, unload the bike, go for a bike ride with you guys, show you around town. Let's go. General store is just across the street. Uh, I'm in this parking lot, Remax. It also says, uh, two hour parking, no overnight parking. So this is definitely, uh, it's kind of good to drive around. You can find a, find spots that you can and can't park overnight. But uh, yeah, let's get out the bike, go for a ride. Bike all put together. I just wanted to show you how I'm packing my stuff now. Uh, I was gonna put it in a suitcase, but this is easier. This slides under there, pull it out, and I I roll everything and pack it straight down so I can see which shirt I'm grabbing track pants, regular pants, camouflage. Again, I have to do some weed eating at my father and mother-in-law's. That's why I brought these crappy shoes now, crappy hat, toiletry kit, swimsuit. So I just wanna grab one of these shirts and we'll go for a ride. This one looks good. Harbor Boat Club Marina store. You can't go in there until Friday. And uh, there's the rest of the boat club. Lots and lots of beautiful boats. And this is the Nautilus Marina. Right beside the other marina. <laughs> Lots of people up here. 
I guess the business can be spread around. Two marinas right beside each other. Harbor House. Oh yeah, we're gonna try this place. Ah, so glad we came over here. Nautilus Marina, Harbor House, Georgian Bay Eatery. We'll have to check out the uh, menu there. They are open tomorrow at 12. She closes at around six o'clock tonight. There's no way I can eat more food tonight or today, like the kind of food that I want to eat from this place. Uh, they have a thing called the Georgian Bay Burger. She says they're known for their fries, their burgers. So tomorrow we'll be back here for the Georgian Bay Burger and Fries. Made it back safe and sound. Beautiful town. Going in and up and around these docks and all these little kind of back roads I went through. Um, a trailer park area and some of these trailers are just gorgeous and they have these beautiful views I'm not sure if those trailers just kind of sit there all year long and that's their view all year long or they stay there for the summer and they hook up go down south stay down in Florida for the rest of the year I don't know so the general store is right here they're open until 7 it's 543 right now so what I want to do because I'm crazy hot uh, is See if there's a, a beach that I can go swimming at. I prefer to swim off a dock and because uh, I like just diving. I don't like to walk into cold water slowly. I just get in, get it done, freshen up, get back here, change, and then I'll be all ready to go for the evening. Um, but uh, so again, they close at seven. So I want to be already back here and order something from them uh for dinner at, at 6 30. i'm just going to go into the general store and ask uh where's a good place to swim so i asked the people the super friendly people at the general store he said uh just beside the delawana inn that is all public area so you can jump in off the dock over there let's go Look at that view, people. I'm gonna say that over and over again because look at that view, people. Unbelievable. One thing you gotta be careful of on these docks is they might not have a ladder to get out so you to look around before you jump in. No ladders to get out. Look at the size of this dock. Imagine putting a tiki bar on here, have a big dance party. Yeah. <laughs> well, I came all the way down to this side. All the docks are way down there, but again, because there's no ladders to get out, and I don't want to try and get out on those slippery rocks. So this looks like a public beach. I'm pretty sure it's part of this whole little park. So they got a little roped off area. Show you where this is. Deep. I just hate getting in this this way into water. I just like jumping in. Let's see how cold it is. That's eh, not bad. That'll that'll definitely cool me down. Oh yeah. Check the pockets. Make sure there's no technology on you before you get in too deep. Oh, this is gonna be nice, people. Just a few weeds. Let's get deeper. Oh yeah. That is like the perfect temperature. It's not temperature that's just cool enough to cool you down, not too cold. You can swim in this for hours. And it's not warm, I like swimming in bath water. So it's definitely cooling me down. Ah, oh, refreshing. Nice, beautiful temperature of water. Oh. Uh, we'll go back, dry up. Hey, dry up already. And then we'll uh, get our dinner from the general store back at the van and uh, this is all charged up good to go so I can shut that off I'm gonna unplug it also unplug my 
actually, yeah, I'm going to probably plug my phone in for a little bit and uh, while I go get some food. I'll change out of my bathing suit and back into my normal civvies. But now it's hungry time. It is uh, 6.36, so we got to go over there real quick, grab our food, come back here, and share it with you. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello. Where can we order food for dinner over here? Oh, are you kidding? Yeah, we close Monday and Thursday, we close at 4. All right, so during the weekday, guys, they close at four so we'll have to come they, he's still open at nine o'clock for breakfast so i think we'll come back here for breakfast so this is your typical general store in canada barbecue stuff <laughs> fishing stuff paint teas stuff for your dock hardware store food store clothing store get your honey harbor shirts DVDs, happy birthday cards, bread, condiments. Yeah, non-alcoholic stuff. I didn't think they could sell alcohol here. And you got all your snacks, of course, all your chips. All your drinks. You know what I need is a really big thing of cold water. My water is all warm. Bananas. Avocado, my favorite. Alright, let's just get some water for now. And of course, maple syrup. Every store in Canada, even the shape of hockey players. Oh well, that was a bit of a blender. With, uh, again, I just looked at the, the door just to see what when they're open but of course the restaurant part is definitely different from the rest of the store so there is another restaurant further down I think everybody here is closed it's because it's Thursday so if it was Friday or Saturday everybody would be open later uh, so check your times again I checked the time <laughs> but the uh, actual uh, like I said the restaurant he said he closed at four so I'm gonna take a big swig of this man I'm so thirsty that hit the spot wow all right let's go get dinner maybe i drove out of town and found this uh, place that does pizza wings pickerel and uh, as i got close to it and saw that it was open i was just realizing how full i still am of those two huge pieces of halibut and all those french fries and that ice cream and i'm still kind of full so i think i'm gonna call it a night well, I found a spot, it's just off the road, and a uh, general store is just down there. There's nothing that says not to park here. The only sign that I see is a fire route, but that's they don't want you parking in front of the gates that are there. So there's nothing in this spot. These look like parking spots all along here, but uh, yeah, we'll park here until uh, we get kicked out or get a ticket or but uh, let's go for a walk and then we'll come back, relax. This part of the stealth camping van life is definitely my favorite part. Beautiful, warm, late spring afternoon, and you get to see this beautiful sunset. Wow. We are back at the stealth camper. The fan has uh, moved a little bit, but uh, we'll redirect. We'll get that going. I did read all your comments on make sure your windows are open to get their actual flow going. 
And so we're going to crack the windows open. Hopefully mosquitoes don't come in. I've got the thermocell. Not that I should use the thermocell, probably inside. But uh, we're going to be plugging in my jackery into my computer, uh, especially if it starts to run down a little bit. My, my computer should be full, juiced up, but if uh, it's not, we have the jackery right there to help us and get through the night with power. So I'm going to once again put my stealth uh, window blinds in, uh, probably all four sides, and then we'll keep this open and for a bit. Uh, and then uh, I'll put a blanket up here and that will keep us stealth mode. For now, I just put up that uh, stealth window, which is falling down. Put this one up for a bit. I'll put up the back one uh, probably before I go to bed. And then I'll put up these two side ones. And uh, hopefully that will keep me nice and stealthy. And uh, the fan is definitely working really well. I cracked that window. All four windows, I crack them. And hopefully that weather shield will keep me uh, from getting wet if it starts to rain. And I don't mind if the odd mosquito gets in here. We'll just whack them. Time to start editing and got everything out. Get some work done then hit the hay. I am in full stealth mode, although I need something a little bit better to block off the front windshield, but everything else is all in place. I'm not sure what light is seeping out right now, but again, once I put the black on it, it'll help seal up all the little edges and things. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, once this is done, I'm definitely gonna hit the hay. Uh, maybe watch uh, some Netflix or something and then uh, we'll try and get up and get that sunrise Which I think is gonna come up over there. So have a good evening. and We'll see you in the morning Good morning. Uh, I think last night was the least amount of sleep I had in any of my stealth camping videos. Uh, I just couldn't fall asleep last night. Like I slept on top of the sleeping bag for the first four hours, maybe five hours. Um, I think maybe I fell asleep somewhere after one o'clock. I remember looking at the, uh, the phone at around one and it must have fallen asleep a little bit after that. And then something woke me up, and I think it was around 3, and I think it was rain. Uh, it just rained for a little bit and then stopped. At around 4 o'clock, the first mosquito found its way in through one of the opened windows, and uh, so I crawled into my sleeping bag. It did get down to around 7, 10 degrees Celsius, which still isn't cold, but uh, I wanted this on for mosquito, and uh, also it's just nice to have... A blanket on you kind of thing so uh, that helped me get back to sleep for a little bit and then probably every half hour on the hour uh, a mosquito would make its way and I killed two and there was a third one in here I never got the chance to kill I set my alarm for 530 and uh, woke up at 530 and it's uh, cloudy it was dark so no sunrise for you guys this morning. Let's take these down. Uh, there was a few, maybe three cars the whole night that went by. And of course, because the windows are open and when it's like, no, oh, there's the mosquito. He's over there. Oh, you're not gonna last long, buddy. You're not gonna last long. Come here, come here. I'll help you, I'll help you. Yeah, look right here. Here's my arm. <laughs> Do you guys see him? You probably don't see him. Oh. Got him. Third mosquito. Damn. So there's a thing kind of like the thermocell, but uh, it's almost like um, a fan that sucks mosquitoes in into a basket. And I've seen a few advertisements on that. I might pick up one of those. 
uh, depending if they run. I'm hoping they're like a rechargeable battery, like you plug in like all this, all this other stuff that I have, uh, even that fan, um, everything. A lot of things now come with a rechargeable battery in it that you just plug into USB and just charge it back up. I'm hoping it's like that, and I'm hoping it's really quiet. This is definitely a great buy for the Stealth Camper. Again, I can swivel it any direction I want. I can aim it down, I can aim it up. I uh, just stuck it on this handle up here and uh, the clamp is so good that it's not going to come off. Uh, hopefully I don't whack it with my head and uh, knock that down. It is now 8.50 in the morning. Let's go get some food. Breakfast special, $7.99, two eggs, bacon, tots, toast. It's all mine, people. To place order, I gotta do that first. Can I help you? Uh, I'm gonna do your uh, breakfast special, please, if, oh. that, if it's open. Yeah. Can I for today? Uh, I'm gonna do a large coffee, too. Yeah. So one for, how much do you want your eggs? Uh, sunny side, please. Do white or brown toast? White. all right guys let's eat we are back in the car let's go the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating shall we this smells so good in my car right now unbelievable let's set all this stuff up and we'll go on for a close-up all right guys going in for the extreme close-up of this honey harbor general store breakfast special $7.99 over here we got our sunny side eggs we got some bacon we got the tots we got our keurig coffee we've got our peanut butter jiff strawberry jam craft oh boy i've been looking forward to this for hours let's do a quick sip of this coffee it's keurig so did i pick a good one it'll do it's all right no, nothing to write home about. I'm gonna pepper and salt everything, mainly my eggs and my tots. Then we're gonna pepper it up. Can never have too much pepper. Uh, maybe you can. Oh, there we go. Holy schmoly. She didn't give me a knife with this, but luckily I brought my cold forged uh, knife and fork set. I think I just popped like this, it comes out the top. And I think this is the one you can't bring on an airline. I can't remember, but it's cold forged. Check it out, there's a link in the description below. Help out the channel if you're interested in buying it. It's affiliate links. Check that out. Insta knife. I could have not used this, but whatever. Let's just get into it. Tater. Crunchy. I'm glad they use that. It's a paper box. I hate styrofoam. Let's see if I can get the egg the bacon and a tater tot all in one bite because that's the way I roll here we go oh my goodness that's crazy didn't work mm. when they're all mixed together like that it tastes so good let us know in the comments below what your favorite breakfast is like when you're on holiday or usually when some people probably love what they make for breakfast every single time but i'm talking about when you're on holiday or whatever again mine's mine is eggs benny if it's on the menu i usually order it every single time i'm glad out of all the places here in honey harbor there's at least one that does a breakfast like this and i i think they're the only ones because everybody else doesn't open until later So if you're visiting and you're early enough for breakfast, 
lovely eggs, bacon, and tater tots all done. This is what I call breakfast dessert when you uh, get to have your, your peanut butter and your jam. I don't mind Jif once in a while. It's pretty good peanut butter. Got a little egg on there. I don't mind. <laughs> Squeeze on some peanut butter. I'm going to be using up all the peanut butter and all the jam. One peanut butter down. Moving on to the jam application. We're going to divide that in half. Put half a swatch. Half a... Whoa! Don't drop it. We only have two, dude. Only got two. Jam number one all done. That's my jam. All right. So what I like to do... I should have asked her not to cut the toast because it's... I prefer just to have one big piece of toast. It's just easier to spread. Oh, see? It's easier to spread. It doesn't flip onto your lap in your car. There we go. You mix your peanut butter and you jam together and you get a beautiful breakfast dessert right there. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite things from the past right there. I don't do it anymore. Ever since I've been fasting and I don't eat breakfast or lunch anymore unless I'm making videos for you guys. But every once in a while, I'm making a video for you guys, I definitely bring it back because it's definitely one of those things that I do not ever want to stop eating. <laughs> Slice number two. Enjoying that with my cup of coffee. I'm going to load these up and eat them the same way. Two more, then we'll go for a walk. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Two bites left, now we can go for a walk. All done breakfast, thought I'd walk around the docks. Let's go check out some boats. Nice fire and rescue. another police boat. Every time I see a boat like this, it reminds me of the television show, Dexter, dumping bodies off the side in Florida. Let me know in the comments below if you loved the series, Dexter. I heard your Georgian Bay burger is amazing. Yes, it is. So I'll do that with uh, everything on it. And... Sure. And fries? Yes, please. Let's go 7-Up. 7-Up? Please. I just remembered it's Friday, June 11th, and all the restaurants are allowed to have patios open. I'm not sure at what capacity uh, there were people sitting on the patio, and when I saw them, I'm like, oh yeah, it's Friday, this is awesome. So uh, I'm hoping Paul and the Tickle Toad and his wife, Sonia, I hope they, they do really well from here going forward. And as they start opening up stuff more, again, I wish them well, and I wish every single restaurant well, and that's why I'm doing a lot of uh, the mom and pop shops. Here is my last meal of my trip. Over here, we've got that sweaty 7-Up. Look how cold that is. It's got the condensation happening on there. Can't wait to crack that open. Over here, we got our condiments. They gave us uh, ketchup, a couple wipes, more ketchup. I'm not sure why they doubled up on the ketchup, but anyway, we got the mustard relish look at those fries i love those fries not peeled fried to perfection 
gold and brown. And look at this bun. That's a nice looking bun. Hey, Georgian Bay. Burger. You got nice buns. Look at that. He's sticking his tongue out at me with that pickle. Let's take that lid off, see what's inside. All right, we've got big, red, ripe tomatoes, and that bun is toasted, nice. We got a crisscross of, of uh, pickles there. We got bacon, cheese on the bottom down there, you see it? And that juicy patty. Before we start eating, we gotta put on our condiments. We're gonna put on the Mustard first, uh, relish. I'm not usually a big relish kind of guy, but this is uh, sweet relish. Let me know if you guys like relish on your burgers. I know a few people that love relish, but I'm not a huge fan, but I'm gonna do it this time. Why not? Live it up, buddy, live it up. Doesn't that look great? And I just realized that's why they gave me an extra ketchup, because that's gonna go on my burger as well, and this ketchup is for my fries. Not sure why I didn't think of that. Now we can put the lid back on. Oh, snap, a concussion grenade. Ah, haven't had a seven up in a while, show the logo. Do a couple without ketchup. Very tasty. Oh boy. Look at the size of that burger. Doesn't that look beautiful? All right, here we go, people. Look at it will be dripping. That's how juicy this is gonna be. I can just, I can see it. Mm-hmm. It is juicy. It is delicious. Mmm. That bacon, that beef, a nice medium well. I don't like my burgers medium rare. Medium or medium well. Comment on the in the comment section below and let everybody know how you like your burger and why, if you don't mind. You guys write, I'll eat. Mm hmm That is a juicy, yummy, savory burger. Mm-hmm. Thick cut bacon. I have definitely enjoyed this trip, people. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see another town tour, maybe in August or September of Honey Harbor, because there's definitely a lot more food here to eat. And I missed one restaurant that's in the neighborhood. I've got an idea. How about you guys rate this burger for me? Put it in the comments. I'll give you a hint. Mm. <laughs> that's a good hint. Thanks for rating the burger for me, guys. But I'm going to have to give a 1 o'clock in the morning shout-out bite to all you amazing men and women out there who love to watch my videos at 1 o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do. But you do, this last huge bite is just for you. Cheers. Mmm, that was so good. Lots of fries to go. Well, that was a very filling, wonderful lunch here in Honey Harbor. If you're looking for a place to hang out, have a good time, eat good food, then check out Honey Harbor with places like Fin City, the General Store, and Harbor House. They all have amazing food. And I definitely want to come back and try out a couple other places. And again, there's a lot of things on the menu. I could probably come back here two more times and eat different things every single time. And of course, I'd like to thank all my patrons from Patreon for all your love and support over there. And all my channel members here on KBD Productions TV. Every single one of you guys rock as well. And of course, all you amazing subscribers and viewers for all your thumbs up, your thumbs down, and your comments. You guys rock. But if you want to show your love and support for this particular video, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that amazing playlist I dumped right over there just for you. See you over there. Bring your hunger.